is the uh, my favorite track I've written so far. It's called Manta. That's my favorite aquatic animal. <laughs> it's gonna be a bop. Yeah, no. I feel like music has just always been there in my life. Choosing to devote myself 100% in music was like the only option for me that seems reliable and trustworthy. Telling my parents is a little bit hard because I wanted to go to college in the States when I was in elementary school. We've been preparing for this for a long time, but this abrupt decision of mine shocked them for a bit, but they still supported and went for it because music was the only thing that made me feel happy and alive. I grew up a lot in these three years. 13, 14, I've went to a lot of auditions. When K-pop star called, I was like, okay, even though right now I don't really want to be a trainee, I'm actually intrigued by being a part of them instead of just imagining what that would be like. So I just went for it and experienced. The most important thing was that I figured out this is not my way. Because I don't think I feel really comfortable under that kind of environment when everybody's you know, watching you on your every move. I don't really want to be the one that's copying or like repeating what someone put in my head. I'm a very selfish person when it comes to making music. My idea was always put first. People keep calling me a rapper or like putting that sticker on me. But that's not the only thing that I am trying to be because not only I'm trying to crack the barrier between languages, I'm trying to crack the barrier between genres too. So I wasn't even thinking that much when I'm making music. I tried to combine, you know, rap elements, R&B elements, even like pop music elements and like all together and become me. Hey guys, this is Lexi Lu. Please vote for me on days 100. Vote for me, please. Thank you. Days 100.